Um, so this is May 2017, question 11A, and it says, matrices A and B are such that A is the matrix 3, 2, 5, 4, B is the matrix 4, 0, 3, minus 1. Show by multiplying A and B that BA is not equal to, sorry, that AB is not equal to BA. But it's simple. Let's first find AB. So finding the matrix product AB. This is um, 3, 2, 5, 4. Multiply by B, which is 4, 0, 3, minus 1. Um, a, B, we're going to multiply what? Let's go down and not across. So we're multiplying, um, when we multiply two matrices, we multiply the rows in the first matrix by the columns in the second matrix. Every time we multiply a row by a column, we get a, um, an element in the answer. If we multiply the top row by the left um, column, we're going to get the top left element. So now I'm going to multiply the top row by the left column. First element in the row times the first element in the column. So three times four is 12. Second element in the row two times the second element in the columns three. Two trees are six. Next, I'm going to multiply the top row by the um, right column. So three times zero is zero. Two times minus one is minus two. Bottom row, left column, five times four is 20. Four times three is 12. Bottom row, right column, five times zero is zero. Four times minus one is minus four. So when we multiply A by B, we get um, 18 minus two, 32 minus four. Let's multiply B by A. So all that simply means I'm multiplying the same two elements, but this time I'm putting B first. So this is um, 4, 0, 3, minus 1. This is 3, 2, 5, 4. Row by a column, top row, left, um, top row, um, left column, 4 times 3 is 12. 0 times 5 is 0. Top row right column, 4 times 2 is 2. 0 times 4 is 0. Bottom row left column, 3 threes are 9. Minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. Bottom row right column, 3 twos are 6. Minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. So this works out to be 12 four down by the bottom, two here, and two here. So obviously, by doing a side-by-side -side comparison, it is easy to see that the matrix product AB is not equal to the matrix product BA. All right? So we're to show by multiplying A and B that the matrix product AB is not equal to BA. We just did that. Now we're to find A inverse. Now A inverse is equal to one over the determinant of A times adjoint A. Now the determinant of A would be um, three times four minus two times five. So this would be 12 minus 10, which is 2. So A inverse would be equal to 1 over 2 times adjoint A. For adjoint A, you're going to switch the leading diagonal elements around. So 4 goes up here, 3 goes here. The other two elements stay where they are, but their signs change to minus 2 and minus 5. So therefore, A inverse would be, now multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by two. So this is four over two minus two over two 
minus 5 over 2, and 3 over 2. And so A inverse is 2 minus 1 minus 5 over 2, 3 over 2. Then we're asked to write down the 2 by 2 matrix representing the matrix, matrix product A, inverse, A times A inverse. Now, this is something that you should know, that A times A inverse is equal to A inverse times A, which is equal to I. And I is the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Whenever you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you're going to get the I matrix. Whenever you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you're going to get the I matrix. Notice the examiner did not ask you to multiply to show it. He asked you to write it down because he's expecting that you would know that when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you're going to get the I matrix. All right. Um, this says, um, I write the following pairs of simultaneous equation as a matrix equation. Well, as a matrix equation, this is um, 3, 2, 5, 4 um, times x, y is equal to 1, 5. We were asked to write the um, pair of simultaneous equations as a matrix equation, which we just did. But if you look carefully, you'll see that the first matrix 3, 2, 5, 4 is A from the previous page. So um, we could say that this is of the form A times X is equal to B. So um, I just ask us to what? Write down the following pair to write it as a matrix equation, which we did. We don't need to go any further. Then um, I, I says, write the solution of um, your matrix equation B, um, I, as a product of two matrices. Well, everybody should know that the solution is X is equal to A inverse B. Now, A inverse we found on the previous page. Now notice he didn't ask you, he said write the solution of your matrix equation as a product of two matrices. So all he wants you to do is to write it as a product of what? Two matrices. So A inverse, I think, was what? Let's go back to it. A inverse was um, 2 minus 1 minus 5 over 2, 3 over 2. So this would be. Sorry, I know the I I. What is well, I? There's a I. I'm doing I I now. No triple I for A. Yeah, man, for A triple I. Let's go back. There's a triple I. It's a right down Z. Yes, I didn't see there. There it is. I did. Write down the two by two matrix, which I did. See, it's there. Moving back. All right, sir. Yeah, man. Minus five over two, three, two. So A, which is, um, Lord God, my memory bottle. A inverse is two minus one. All right. 2 minus 1 minus 5 over 2, 3 over 2 times B, which is what? 1, 5. That's the answer. The examiner says, write the solution of your matrix equation in BI as a product of two matrices. He didn't say solve it. He said, let's write it as the product of two matrices. And see, I have it there. X, which is my, which what I want to find would be A inverse times B. A inverse times B, if you multiply these two, you would get the value, you would get the answer for the matrix, for the simultaneous equation. He did not say to solve it, he said write it, 
write the solution as the product of two matrices, which I've done. All right, the vector part of the question, this says, so this is C. It says the position vectors of the points P and Q relative to an origin O are OP is um, 4, 3, and OQ is 5, 0, respectively. The diagram below shows that um, PR is three times OP and um, QS, QS is three times, sorry. So PR is three times OP. All right, fine. All right, so this is um, three. From P to R is three times OP. And from Q to S is three times OQ. This says write um, in the form um, X, Y, um, in the form the vector OS. Well, um, I would say that OS would be equal to four times um, OQ. So from O to Q is one, from Q to S is what? Um, all right, or if, I, if you want to spell it out, let's spell it out to show that I'm correct. Um, OS would be equal to OQ plus QS. All right, um, OQ is what? OQ is um, five zero, and QS is three times OQ, so it's three times five zero. So to me, this look like, um, Five plus fifteen zero plus zero, and so this is equal to twenty zero. All right, we didn't have to go that way. We could have just simply said that OS OS is equal to four times um, OQ, and this would have carried us, taken us to the same answer. Um, PR. No, PQ, sorry, PQ. Triangular vector says that PQ would be PO plus OQ. This is the triangular vectors. Um, PO is minus OP. So it's minus OP. And OP is 4, 3. So it's minus 4, 3 plus OQ, which is five zero. So this is minus four plus five, minus three plus zero. And so our answer here is one minus three. PQ is one minus three. Then we're asked to um, RS, let's go back to our diagram to see RS. RS, so RS would be equal to RO plus OS. All right. So RS would be equal to RO plus OS. So this is equal to minus four times um, OP plus four times times OQ. All right. So this is minus four times four three plus um, four times um, five zero. 
So this is minus 16 minus 12 plus 20 plus zero. So this is going to come out to be four minus 12. Four is common, so you can take it out. Four, four into four is um, one. Four into 12 is minus 12 is minus three. So this is four, ti four times one minus three. Now state two geometric relationship between PQ and RS. Now PQ, we found to be equal to one minus three. Um, RS, we found to be four times one minus three. So state two geometric relationship between these two. Well, the first thing is this, PQ and RS are parallel. This is geometric relationship one. How do I know the two of them are parallel? Um, two vectors are parallel if there are scalar multiples of the same base vector. The base vector is one minus three. One is one times one minus three, and the other is four times one minus three. So the first thing is the two vectors are parallel. Geometric relation two. RS is the mod of RS is four times the mod of um, PQ. The mod of RS is four times the mod of PQ. In other words, the length of RS is four times the length of PQ. And that is the geometric relationship between the two vectors, um, between the two lines. The two lines are parallel and one is four times the 